This will be to rescue or uh, extricate a victim from a motor vehicle. Specifically, the standard is 6-4.1F, which is to set up and operate a hydraulic jack and stabilize the vehicle with cribbing. On the performance outcome, the candidate wearing full protective clothing and eye protection shall demonstrate the proper use of a hydraulic jack. On the conditions, given personal protective clothing, boots, pants, coats, hood, gloves, eye protection, and a helmet, a hydraulic jack, a base plate material, wooden wedges, and assorted cribbing, the candidate shall demonstrate the ability to, number one, inspect the equipment for damage, two, assess for a solid, flat jacking surface, number three, place a board or a plate where the jack base will sit and shim level if necessary. Position the jack under a solid area of the load, uh, fully retracted. Close pressure relief uh, valve. Lift the vehicle. Stack cribbing in a box formation under the load during the lift. Number eight, place sufficient cribbing, possibly in multiple locations to support the load. Retract the jack to allow load to rest on the cribbing. And ten, check the load for stabilization. With anything that you're going to be doing, uh, make sure that you have checked that piece of equipment prior to starting the scenario. Look that piece of equipment over, and if you note any damage, point that out to the evaluator. Make sure that you understand how the levers work. It should be a piece of equipment that you're fairly familiar with. Make sure that you understand the safety parameters of it and the specifications. You may, if you know those, also cite those um, specifications out to the evaluator so we understand that you have a working knowledge of it. Utilize that piece of equipment, but then with that box cribbing, um, make sure that you understand its limitations, how to utilize that. You may have to set it up in multiple locations. Take your time with it and then set that vehicle onto that cribbing so that it's stabilized and then check that vehicle at the end for stabilization um, to make sure that the load is fully stabilized and we don't have something that could catastrophically fail. But take your time with all of these skill sheets to make sure that you are checking everything and safety is going to end up being paramount. Wear that PPE and make sure that you are fully raising it to the height that you were asked and then stabilizing that load and placing that full load onto that cribbing for total vehicle stabilization or object stabilization. And this will be for our high lift jack safety concerns. This is a simulation of lifting. We have chalked the back wheel. We have built our box cribbing all the way up until we're ready to use our wedges to continue up. This high lift jack is just like your old jack in your car. It has an up and a down. Put it into the up position. Make sure the base is stable. We have concrete so we don't have to worry about it. If this was soft ground, we would have to build a platform for this to stand on, either out of 2x4s, 4x4s, or a solid piece of steel if you had a nice big base to spread it out. We've got a very good base here in the apparatus bay. So bring it all the way up until it takes up the slack. Put it against the vehicle. This is not good to have it out like this because that's not st stable. Get it right in close. Pull the handle all the way down, and you'll see it starts to lift up as soon as I go. And he's going to crib an inch as I lift an inch. Okay, so we've lifted it an inch, he's cribbed it, now we want it to come down. This will jack down until we lose all the weight on it. Once the weight is off the jack, this whole unit will slide to the ground. So be ready for that to happen. So, down, we're still good, we're going to jack, it has to go up slightly to come down. So we're going to jack up and he's going to pull his wedges out. And we're going to go down, and as soon as the weight is off of the trailer, the jack goes down, just like that. Just make sure your hands are free from that. Inspect the unit. Make sure the pins work in and out. This locking mechanism goes up and down freely. I'll turn it around so you can see there's two cotter pins to hold those pins in. Make sure those pins are in place. If something fails on this or a cotter pin comes out, take it out of service, write a squawk, send it to the maintenance manager. And we could also use a hydraulic bottle jack for this situation. On a bottle jack, it has a small little turn valve pump the handle up until the bottle comes up and the tension goes on it and then turn that valve the other way to let it slowly down. The faster or further you turn that handle out, the faster the jack will come down. So be careful when you let the pressure off so it doesn't come down catastrophically.